Hi, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today's prompt was the word mother. And I didn't get any revelations I would that I know of when I was looking at the word with verses and um, so I just picked out a few that I really liked and decided to write them out on small journal cards and then just put them all on one page so they're all in Psalms the first one I found was Psalm 113, verse 9. He makes the barren woman to be a homemaker and a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. Now, the Amplified there says spiritual children. It could be. It could be. Because it says barren. But a lot of barren women have influence on people and they may not be their actual children. Anyways, I like that one. Psalm 51, verse 6. I know that you wanted faithfulness even when I was in my mother's body. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. How cool is that? That's from the New International Revised Version. Um, how cool is it that God would teach us wisdom while we were still unborn. I just, that, to, that's amazing to me. Psalm 22, verse 10 from the Amplified. I was cast upon you from my very birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my God. I like that one too. And then Psalm 27, verse 10, also from the Amplified. Although my father and my mother have forsaken me, yet the Lord will take me up. And that speaks of adoption. And, you know, mothers and fathers don't always have a choice whether they keep their kids or not. So the fact that the Lord adopts us is just this great consolation to me. And I think it could be to any who don't have their parents anymore. For whatever reason, if we could just, you know, get to that place where we would know that the Lord is our parent, I think we would do well. There's a lot of people in the world that um, are mourning the loss of their parents. But when you have the Lord in your life, he doesn't leave you in that place. Okay, sorry, I had to look for some more tape. And as I was doing so, I found this beautiful rose. But yeah, if you know the Lord, he doesn't leave you in despair. If you let him, he will cheer you up. He will comfort you. And too, like David says, he had to console himself in the Lord. So there's that. We choose who we lean on. I understand too that there's phases that we go through as long as we don't stay in that grief state always we have to climb out and the Lord helps us because he's just that good All right, so since I found this rose, I'm just gonna make it very simple today. Don't know how simple, but there you go. So 
So that is the word mother. And if you still have your mom, I don't know, I think I could have put it closer to Mother's Day, but I wasn't really thinking of it in those terms when I made the list. So if you want to do this word later on, by all means, feel free and uh, switch up the words. It's okay. We're in the word and that's what makes our Lord happy that we want to get to know him and spend time with him. All right, so thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you again. Bye for now.